What's up? It's Winslow, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite plugins, which is called Noise 2 by, I guess you say, Denise. It's the Denise, Denise. Why is a brand name called Denise? It's like a my mom's name. It's not, but you know what I mean. Anyway, love the plugin. It's a great way to add texture and just some kind of flavor, some kind of something to sound. First things first, if you wanna know every little like thing this does, this is not like an exhaustive review video about this plugin. This is just how I use it. So we're in here and this is what the plugin looks like. And first off, since drum and bass, I'm gonna teach you how to make a bass sound. It sounds like this. Also, while I'm thinking about it, if you like these videos and you gain any kind of value from them, I would appreciate you've head over to Patreon, maybe think about becoming a subscriber. You get things like this early and a bunch of other different rewards. And uh, yeah, just put a sample pack on there full of drums in case that sounds like your thing. And then there's always something else. And then just a little bit more insight in, uh, to me and everything I'm working on, because I don't want to post everything publicly. You know, that sounds all right to you. Follow that link in the description, patreon.com slash Winslow XYZ. And uh, I'll see you there and in the Discord too. Bad Snares Anonymous. So we're talking about this fuzzy sound, which not just break uses it, but you know, break. Anyway, so how'd I do this in my favorite plugin? of silent. So take any plugin you want, just get two sine waves, sine wave. Give me two voices. You could do different oscillators. I just do two voices, make it mono, take that stereo knob, mono, detune them. There's only two. So you're going to start to get this sound. Yep. Already like back and forth. And then from there, what I would normally do is go to the noise two plugin, which should be showing up. So what I'll do is make sure to select my noise profile as white, brown, violet. These are all different variations of noise. I like to click smile and then just hundred percent everything. No, nothing. You get this. So then there's this fall rise and fall parameter. It's basically like the attack, how it comes in and how it dissipates. So as if you have it like hundred percent or close, you get the real noise sound. If you start bringing it towards zero, it more tightly follows the contour of the sound. And if you want a lot of grit, you just go zero. Then I'll high pass most of it about right there. Then low pass a little bit of it. That's basically the sound, right? Then from there, you can make it stereo how it is, or you can go mono. Depends on what you want. If I wanted to blend into the mix and just add a bit of character on the bass, I'll probably keep it mono or mono-ish narrow. If I want just like, that's the sound kind of like breakage or break or zero T or pick another producer, then I'll go full stereo. Then from there, distortion, saturation, bit of compression. I just whacked on Camel Crusher because that's what I do. And then play with the settings. And this is what I got after that. Bit more grit. Now I probably take the mix down just because it's a bit much. And that's that sound so much easier with noise too, instead of say going into silent and then adding noise and then maybe automating that or put in an LFO, which I mean, it's fine, but this it's like, it's not like a one button quick fix, but it's pretty fast. So what else can we do here? Oh, so let's go to this piano. We got a trusty, trusty, trusty soft piano by labs, Spitfire labs. What if I want to add like a field recording to that noise too? Let's try it out. So you can come here, you can load your own sample. Now I have a folder full of field recordings that I take from either my zoom or my phone. Let's now phone the formats weird cause it's like Apple. So it's like an M4A, but you can load in waves. Let's pick one. 
How about when I've used rain classic? Yeah. Let me edit that so I don't have the thunder in there. I just want the rain. Yeah, see? Now I can go in and high pass so I don't have any rumble. Just kind of the texture of it. Make it full stereo. So that'd be a cool way to, you know, add texture in a way that moves with the contour of the piano. So it's not just like playing as you play the piano, like, but it sees like little decay is coming with it. You can do all kinds of things, add to the rise. That's a really cool effect. Play with it a little bit more, low pass it. Now, what would I just create a spitball in here? Let's add a add some delay. Let's see what we get. Because texturally, this is adding a whole bunch. Just with that, no plugins, all piano. Sounds cool. Add some interest and texture. It adds a dynamic character because it's not always playing from the start of that field recording we use, but it's just kind of going through it, starting over. So each, it's movement, it's texture, it's adding uh, a human feel if you want. So that's why this is like my favorite plugin just because it makes things easier. I mostly use it as like I showed you with the bass just because it gives me some grit, some character. And then from there, you can do like the whole resampling, sampling route to get a lot of interesting bass sounds. Or if you want something like the piano, you can load anything. Like let's stick another field recording under the bridge. Yeah, that one, noisy. It was like cars passing and stuff. We'll open that one, we go in. Oh, you can actually old. <laughs> I put more than one in there. I've never tried that. So now I have rain and the like under the bridge sample. There it is. Like I've used this in a track, just not with this. You want to make your adjustments, high pass the low stuff. Yeah. And you have just this bed of sound that has so much more depth and um, interest to it in a few clicks. Now, of course, I could take the actual field recording. Let me find it on the bridge, stick it in there as an audio file. All right, take this denoise plugin off and just play with it on there. There it is. That kind of, it feels like two separate things. But if I do it with the Noise 2 plugin, it moves with it. Now I know I'm playing like cinematic -y film scorey type sounds, but within the context of a drum and bass tune, it'll still work, especially if you have like, you know, fluffy liquid or honestly, anything you want to do, it's up to you. If you like the techie basses like that, it does what you want it to do. If you want fluffy liquid pianos with a bit of texture, that's what you got. That's why I love this plugin. It's only 40 euros. So like about that much USD pounds, you know how it goes. It's always on sale. So, you know, Check it out, download the demo, see if it's up something you'd like to use. But for me, it's really nice. So that's about it. I've been Winslow. Hope you like this. Hope you gained something from it. Again, if you like these things, don't support me channel further, consider going over to Patreon. 
or you know just listen to tunes send me comments all that stuff works you know because i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one later